Hi, Gemini. It's Power and Light Tower coming at you with the reading. Gemini, this is going to be one of their true intentions in love. And Gemini, I'm putting your oracle cards out here, and uh, there is definitely a storyline uh, showing up here. Not exactly sure, uh, you know, what this means as of yet, but maybe you are in a situation with somebody where you're kind of just being obedient. What I mean by that is it could mean a few things. It could mean that you are just kind of, you know, kind of cooperating with this person, right? Like, well, I pick up the baby at 3 o'clock and uh, you clean the kitchen uh, Wednesday nights and Friday nights and just things like that, maybe to make things, you know, kind of, uh, you know, to keep things going in a good flow, possibly. The mastery card, the lion is here. This is really just about mastery. We're going to see what else it is about. Uh, you could be, like, in a balancing act, which is, like... Maybe you feel like you're walking a tightrope, maybe. But the balancing act is, it is about love here. Uh, you know, this is an interesting card. But let's look at the lion here and see what it says mm -hmm, for you. And this is shining, mastery, and strength. Okay, so this is like courage. It could be, or you have mastered something. But the fantasy card is here. This is Emily Bronte, and she wrote about fantasy. I feel like she wrote Jane Eyre. I could be wrong, but which was... Uh, it was kind of a tragic, uh, a tragic story. Yeah, mm -hmm. I feel like it was a love story. Yeah, it was a love story, but also it was tragic too. And the Toad card, maybe this is a tragic love story you're in. I'm not sure yet, right? Of course, the Toad card talks about, um, you know, this is a humor or something that is grotesque. <laughs> so let's see. It's probably humor, right? Let's see with the Toad. The toady toad. This is joy. Yeah, humor and joy. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have humor and joy with somebody. Let's get into this reading. And the last of all, the invisible card is here. The invisible card is, you know, maybe you feel invisible. There's There could be something that is just invisible here, right? And let's look at the, uh, the balancing act card and see what it has to say. Uh, yeah, let's see all about the balancing act. See what this invisible card has to say, right? These are brand new cards. Let's see. Yeah, the obedience card is about rules. Sometimes rules that are good, sometimes rules that are not. Uh, but these are. Uh, mm -hmm. What rules you are are you considering when you ask your question? You will be sorry if you're going to break a rule that is in place to protect you and others. OMG. Even though you may not like authority right now, this is the time to obey what has already been set in motion. This is the time to learn the lay of the land and to follow the customs and keep things in order. Learn the steps of the dance before you attempt to change them to suit you. Uh, it's possible you want something here, Gemini, like a fantasy. Somebody that maybe brings you, you know, somebody who is funny, something like that. Uh, this is about courage here. I feel like there's something you want, but you're in another situation, possibly, for some. And uh, you could be, it could be advising you to follow the rules. Um, and this is maybe, uh, maybe it's a balancing act for you to do that. Wow. And uh, let's look at the invisible card here, because this is the same. Uh, maybe uh, there's something that is invisible here, I feel like. Something uh, that is not being shown. Sometimes you may feel like you don't fit in. Okay, maybe you just feel invisible. And as if you are invisible to others, as as your goddess, I see you, I know you, and I believe in you. So you might be with somebody and you feel invisible. Maybe everything else is great, kind of, but like maybe you don't feel the joy and the humor that you do with somebody else. I just feel like this is about something that you really want here and that you are kind of not getting. I feel like that's it. The balancing act is, mm -hmm. let's see about this card though, know that not everyone has the ability to recognize you fully and that perhaps they are so caught up in their own stories that they can't see you. This could be the person you're with maybe, it's okay because those who can see you are the important companions on your path to finding your magic. Another meaning for the symbol you have chosen is that circumstances may require you to step back and remain in the shadows, like, right, just kind of step back. 
Now is not the time for you to tell all and show everyone your truth. Yeah. You could be, there could be something that you have that's invisible. Like you could be hiding something. And this is what I was saying here. It doesn't always have to be a lover. You could be hiding some type of feelings or dynamic that you feel like you're in. Something like that. Uh, uh, being invisible protects you from harm right now so that you can observe your surroundings without being vulnerable. Stay hidden and watch what others do before acting. I feel like you're in some type of a situation where you are like just kind of possibly waiting to see what happens. Mm -hmm. And the balancing act, let's see what it is. Gee, uh, this is deep, uh, Gemini. <laughs> and we have your calm within as no matter the fluctuation of outer conditions. So you are doing this. You are remaining calm here. Yeah, you could just be obeying and following some rules here, right, within a situation. You might be in a situation that, you know, happy or unhappy, it doesn't, it's not really saying whether or not you are, but uh, I feel like you have some fantasy about something else that you, I feel like you, you want either the courage to go after it or you want to master it, something like that. And, uh, mm -hmm. but the situation you're in is, you know, I don't feel like it's unhappy. I just feel like uh, there's something else here that is kind of like your fantasy that you really want. Mm hmm so let's get into this reading now, Gemini, that we have kind of attempted to crack the case here. Yeah, I mean, this could be really happening for somebody. This is kind of very specific and uh, interesting. So let's see what we have for Gemini and their person. Let's see what we got going on for Gemini and their person. And in the recent past, Gemini, the magician, this can be mastery. In your challenge is the Page of Wands. What you want is to be single. Yeah, you look like you want to be in another situation. Mm -hmm. And I was saying that. I was saying, you know, you could be wanting that. And your fear is the king of wands. So you're afraid of, uh, Gemini, you're afraid of a fire sign. Or you're doubting them, either one, right? And this is um, Aries, Leo, Sag. The Leo card is here. The devil is here. This is Capricorn. Your person's challenge is the hermit. It could be a Virgo. And they want the fool, and the two of swords is what they're afraid of. It looks like your person maybe wants to take a chance on something themselves. Maybe they could want a new adventure, but they don't know how things are going to turn out over here. They, it looks like they don't know what to expect here. That's kind of how it looks. But let's see here. And you look like you are walking toward a new path here. Let's see why the magician is there. I feel like you want mastery. You could have it with the lion, but I feel like you want it. Five of Pentacles, OMG, and the Seven of Wands. You could be trying to resist somebody from leaving you out, or you, I feel like you are maybe resisting leaving somebody out. Because your challenge is the Page of Wands. This is something you want, this fantasy. Yeah, there's somebody that you want here that you are kind of wishing for. Maybe they're far away, but... Uh, the fantasy card is like wanting something that you really don't have. Let's look at that. Let's see what it says about the fantasy. Mm -hmm. Where's that little uh, libretto? Where is it? Is it a little book here. Oh, here it is. Let's see what the fantasy has to say. Oh, yeah, this is uh, in the beginning. Let's see what we have. Sorry, you guys. And this is uh, Emily Bronte. Mm -hmm. Where is Emily? Okay. Of course, it's in the beginning, right? And I'm at the end. Okay, d dwelling, indulging, hiding in fantasy. Yeah, hiding in fantasy means that you are kind of dreaming about somebody or really kind of like wishing for them, right? Yeah, and it says uh, indulging. Yeah, you, there's somebody you want here that brings you joy or humor. Yeah, and uh, for some reason, this this lion is here. There's I, There's some kind of feeling here where you want to either master that and go get it and have it or... There's just something here about this mastery. I feel like you feel kind of, Gemini, that 
that you want something or somebody. Yeah, you want somebody, but there's some type of like mastery that goes with it, like that you feel like you don't have. It could be, but uh, and there's some and this invisible card talks about you kind of hiding things a little bit. Yeah, and the lovers is reversed. I feel like this is you, Gemini, right? Because this is your card with the eight of wands. This is you, and you feel uh, you're like you're in the reverse here about change. I feel like you, I mean, this could be saying that you are resisting leaving somebody out and, uh, or, you know, or resisting them leaving you out. I feel like you are resisting leaving somebody out where you are kind of cooperating with them. Maybe you're married to them, but things are, things work out like between you guys with this like obedience card, right? And the balancing act, things work out like, you know, you know, I feel like they are like they're functional, but there's something here that you want is like. Uh, something that is alluring you, right? That you have been kind of wishing for. Yeah. Page of Wands, Ace of Cups is your challenge. Yeah. You have to walk a new path to have this Ace of Cups. This is very clear in your challenge. Eight of Pentacles. You want to, you really want, there's somebody here you want that you are devoted to for sure. And uh, let's see. We have, and the hearts are fluttering here on this balancing act. Yeah, they are. And what you want here is to be single and the two of, Wants. You're at a crossroads here about being single. I feel like it's about leaving somebody. This is why this is like a balancing act for you. This obedience card is saying it's not the time to walk away. It's interesting here. And the king, I mean, that's up to you guys, of course. The king of wands is showing up in your fear or your doubt. So you could be wondering what's going to happen with a fire sign, the seven of pentacles, Maybe wondering what's going to happen financially. Those are pentacles. Five of swords. This is your fear or your doubt. You could be thinking somebody's going to be really angry here. It's possible here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could be thinking they're going to try to get back at you. Something like that. OMG. Maybe get back at you financially even. Wow. Their energy is the, your person's is the sun card and the six of swords. Uh, if they could have clarity that you want to leave. Because they have the devil now and the nine of swords. Here they are worried. You could be fearing here that you're going to have chaos and conflict. <coughs> Excuse me. If you leave somebody. If you leave this person who's worried about you leaving. They have a lot of fear here. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. The challenge here is, and you could be wondering what's going to happen to this person if you sabotage them. Like, it could be a matter of, it could be like, if you're leaving them, it could be a feeling of kind of like sabotage. For whatever reason, I don't know the, you know, the dynamic, the specific dynamic in your house or in your relationship. The Nine of Wands, your person is worried. They could be worried about a Virgo. They're looking right at the Hermit. And this is the wounded. They're wounded. They've already been wounded, and they're worried about what's going to happen yeah, this person is on, like, they're, like, on, what do you call that? Like, on watch or on edge. Yeah. The Wheel of Fortune could be about a Sagittarian. They could be a Sagittarian worried about a Virgo or vice versa. The Page of Cups, they're worried here that, and they're soul-searching. They are, but they are worried that in the challenge that you have a love offer for somebody else. The Fool card is what they want, and they could be Queen, the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh, and they look like they are hoping for a new adventure, maybe with you, maybe on their own, the death card. OMG. I feel like your person might be, this, they're so worried over here. They look like they are uh, hoping for a new adventure with you, like a new start, and hoping you'll end it with this other person, the death card. Let's see, though. I feel like they are more worried here that you are three of swords. Yeah, nobody, yeah. I feel like this person is worried that you're going to end it with them and, you know, have a new a new, like, go jump off a cliff with somebody else, Gemini. In their fear is the two of swords, the two of pentacles. So this is their doubt or their fear. They're fearing you're choosing, because these twos are about choosing, uh, and there's nothing they can do about it being in the two of swords. Like, there's not, my hands are tied. There's nothing I can do about this. The star card, yeah, they think you're going to heal the situation, or you have uh, a star, somebody who really inspires you. I feel like you do with this fantasy card. This is all about indulging, right? We don't indulge if somebody is not really exciting, kind of like a fantasy to us, right? 
I'm going to end the reading, Gemini, and go to the extended. I really want to see this reading. I feel like it's very cool. And we're going to look at the issues at hand, the underlying issues, or, yeah, and how they feel about you, how they see the situation, what's on their mind, Gemini, and what you don't know about them or what they could be hiding in their near future, and, of course, their true intentions. They're all super affordable. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, if you guys want the link. Uh, you just, uh, about what's going on right now, uh, not with your person, uh, my dear Gemini, but you just send me an email to create898 at protonmail.com, and don't ask me for the link in the comments, uh, people keep doing that, and I don't really appreciate that, you guys, uh, please just send me an email, create898 at protonmail.com, these two ladies break it down really well, thank you so much, you guys, God bless, uh, yeah, I want to see your reading, yeah.